In previous videos, we learned about the common ion effect. The common ion effect can be applied to solubility equilibrium as well. If a solution has one of its ions present in a compound, the molar solubility of that compound will be less than the molar solubility of that compound in pure water. When calculating the molar solubility in a solution that already has one of the ions present, the initial concentration of that common ion will have a non-zero value. It will have the same concentration of that common ion in solution. Otherwise, calculation of the molar solubility is done in a very similar way to what we've done in previous videos. In this problem, we're asked to determine the molar solubility of lead to bromide in a 0.15 molar solution of lead to nitrate. We're given the KSP for lead to bromide is 4.67 times 10 to the minus 6. We begin the problem by writing the ionization equation for the compound which we are looking to find the molar solubility. In this case, that's lead to bromide. So we get solid lead to bromide is in equilibrium with lead 2 plus aqueous and two aqueous bromide ions. Next, we identify the common ion and its concentration. In this case, we notice that the lead 2 plus ion is present in both the lead 2 bromide and the lead 2 nitrate. In order to identify the concentration, we notice that the lead 2 plus is in a 1 to 1 mole ratio with lead 2 nitrate, so the concentration of the lead 2 nitrate will also equal the initial concentration of the lead 2 ions in the ionization equation. Next, we set up the ice table with the initial concentrations. For the lead 2 plus ion, we have 0.15 molar, and for the bromide ions, we have initial concentration of 0. We now use S in the change row, so we have S for the change of the lead 2 plus ion, and 2S for the change in the bromide ion. For the equilibrium concentrations, we have 0.15 plus S for the lead, but since the KSP is a small value, we're going to assume that S is small compared to 0.15. So the equilibrium concentration of the lead 2 plus ion is just 0.15 molar. The equilibrium concentration for the bromide ion is 2S. Next, we write the KSP expression for lead 2 bromide. KSP is equal to the concentration of the lead 2 plus ion times the square of the concentration of the bromide ion. Once we enter the values, we have 4.67 times 10 to the minus 6 is equal to 0.15 times the square of 2s. Next, we have 4.67 times 10 to the negative 6 is equal to 0.60s squared. Solving further, we have 7.8 times 10 to the negative 6 is equal to s squared and we find that the value of the molar solubility is 2.8 times 10 to the negative third. We want to check our assumption, so we take this value of s divided by 0.15 times 100 and see that that is 1.9%, which is less than 5%, so that assumption is valid. Let's compare the molar solubility of the lead to bromide in this solution compared to pure water. In the previous video, we saw that the molar solubility of lead bromide in pure water was 1.1 times 10 to the negative 2. So the solubility in the lead nitrate solution is much lower, and that's what we would expect for the common ion effect when we have lead to bromide dissolving in lead to nitrate. After watching this video, you should be able to explain how the common ion effect changes the molar solubility of a compound. You should also be able to use the common ion effect to determine the molar solubility of a compound in a solution with a common ion.